The vast majority of fixed gear riders use a crank length that is either 165 millimeters or 170 millimeters. But is one better than the other? Which one is better for you? What are the pros and cons of each? Welcome to another episode of 3 Minute Thursday made in collaboration with Wabi Cycles. The cycling show where we drop the knowledge on you in 180 seconds or less. If you want to see any topics covered in 3 Minute Thursday, be sure to let us know in the comments below and we might just make a 3 Minute Thursday on it. And for some more practical cycling wisdom and for some really dope fixed gear bikes, check Wabi out link at the top of the description. So what is the best fixed gear crank length for you? Let's find out. 180 seconds on the timer. Let's go. Crank length is measured from the center of the crank bolts to the center of the pedal spindle. So what does crank length actually change? If you increase the crank length, you increase the amount of leverage that you have on your bike, meaning that you can pedal the same gear ratio easier or even go up to a bigger gear ratio. For every 2.5 millimeters that you go up or down in crank length, you should add or subtract one to on your chain ring, but there are drawbacks when you do increase your crank length, mainly being clearance. Fixed gear riders tend to like shorter cranks because, well, on a fixed gear, they're always spinning, meaning that we need clearance for when we're cornering. So most fixed gear riders will not go above 170 millimeters so that we can corner comfortably. Increasing your crank length means that you'll have more toe overlap since your pedal spindle will be closer to your front wheel. And it means that you'll potentially have more pedal strike since the longer crank arm means that your pedal is closer to the ground at the six o'clock position. The two most popular crank lengths are for fixed gear 165 mil and 170 mil, but does that five millimeter difference is that something that you and I can actually feel and for the most part yes the biggest reason to choose one crank length over the other is that one is more comfortable for you with a longer crank arm especially on a fixed gear because you're always rotating the cranks you don't give your knees an opportunity to rest and to coast over longer rides a longer crank arm can be less comfortable because your knees have to flex more because you're spinning bigger circles. Some people are also very sensitive to toe overlap, making the shortest crank arm that is comfortable for them the best option. What you're choosing between is a little bit more comfort and confidence while cornering on the 165 millimeter side versus a little bit more leverage and top speed at the price of comfort and clearance in corners on the 170 millimeter side. For most people, because 165 mil is easier on the knees, it's going to be better. 170 mil cranks will typically come stock on bigger complete bikes, say 56 centimeters and up. Taller people tend to have taller legs and can benefit from that extra leverage. But 170 may not be the best option if you have particularly sensitive knees or like to ride ultra long distance. 165 to 170 really comes down to preference. I'm six foot and most bike manufacturers would tell me to ride a 170 millimeter crank set, but I ever so slightly prefer 165. If you have absolutely no problems with your current crank arm length, keep using it. My recommendation is to use the shortest crank set that is comfortable for you, because shorter cranks tend to be more comfortable, and a comfortable bike is one that you ride. To answer the title of this video, what is the best crank length for fixed gear, probably 165. And Fixie Famous shoutouts to Zane Kolnick, Ryan Witz, Robbie Andaya, Kelvin Ho, Justin Javier, Julian Corona, Henry Grant, David Kay, and Brandon Black for helping to make these fixed gear videos possible through their support on Patreon. And remember, life is short, but don't make it shorter. So be sure to ride your bike every day to be reasonably dangerous.